Barakatha Yahoa, Barakatha Yahoa Shai, Kol Halal Yom La Yahoa, Bahasham Yahoa Shai, Barakaha Kodash, which means, <clears throat> Salaki, which means all praises to Yahoa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Barakaha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And uh, as you can see, the uh, title of the lesson, matter of fact, let me just go type this in real quick. This is 1 John 2 and 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that anti-Messiah shall come, even now are there many anti-Messiahs whereby we know that it is the last time, man. And, and, and this world is is showing more and more how how against the Lord anointed that this place is, man. Why? Because Esau Edom is ruling this place. The vibration of the devil is all throughout the earth. You know. And the reason I say that is 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 just based off this right here, right? So now, this uh, came out yesterday or the day before, if I'm not mistaken. It says U.S. rapper T.I. has provoked outrage. By revealing that he forces his 18-year-old daughter to undergo an annual virginity test at, at the gynecologist. The Grammy-winning musician told a podcast that he escorts Deja Harris to the doctor's office after each birthday to check her hymen. And uh, I looked at this one. It says, outrage as U.S. rapper T.I. says he has daughter's hymen checked annually. You know, and this outrage, man, you see the people, the different people on uh, these different uh, uh, social medias lashing out, you know, saying all manner of, uh, uh, of madness, man, you know, saying how he's wrong. And, and even the society, uh, um, uh, where is that at? Yeah. Yeah. By the World Health Organization, the double the WHO. Right. I'm going to just read this first little part. It says U.S. rapper, actor and TV host T.I. has prompted revulsion after he revealed he accompanies his 18 year old daughter, Deja Harris, to a, gynecolog a gynecological exam each year for her hymen uh, and therefore virginity to be checked. A practice condemned as humiliating and traumatic by the W.H.O. Now. He's just being a father, man, according to the scriptures. Now, according to the scriptures, the scripture says this. We just we, we just going to say what the scripture says and show how this how this world is is, is 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 against everything that the Bible stands for, man. This is Sirach, the 22nd chapter. In the third verse. It says an evil nurtured man is the dishonor of his father that begot him. So even men. So that's why the scripture says in Proverbs it says train up matter of fact let me let me get that this is proverbs 22 and 6 train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it and the way that uh we should go is the ways of our forefathers man the book of jeremiah the sixth chapter tells us that let me get this it's jeremiah 6 and 16 it says, Thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, the rebels of our nation, we will not walk therein. You see? You see? They say we will not walk therein, man. And these are the ways of our forefathers, as it is written in Job 8 and 8. Prepare thyself for the search of thy fathers. This is our heritage. This is how we should conduct ourselves. You see? So let's go back. Sirach 22 and 3, an evil nurtured man is the dishonor of his father that begot him. So even uh, these niggas out here, man, they are, they're, they are a disgrace, man. And a foolish daughter is born to his loss. You see, a wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband. And she that liveth dishonestly is her father's heaviness. She that is bold dishonoreth both her father and her husband but they both shall despise her man so the scriptures tell you how you should bring up your daughter the scriptures tell you how the daughter should act how the wife should conduct herself so forth and so on man this is our heritage this is how we ought to be he don't want his daughter out there hoeing 
you know? Which, which, which why, why is that an outrage, you know? And, 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 when, and when you look, when you look at his daughter, look at her, man. She's, she's a, a very beautiful girl, man. You see? And the scriptures tell you. Let's go uh, continue in the lesson. Let's go to uh, the 26th chapter. In the 10th verse, it says, If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. Man, yeah. You don't want to uh, give it too much liberty to go out there and do anything and everything, man. That's why it says keep her in straightly. Look, because when you actually just Google, and this is the the the, the wickedness of 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 social media, man. Look, see. To be honest, man, he shouldn't even uh, allow her to wear uh, certain things, man. And to be able to put that out on, on, on social media for the world to see. You see? And and, and, and and check this, man. Just type this in. So you, you so you already know all kind of, you know what I'm saying? This is not for the world to see, man. But anyway, regardless, let's go back to the lesson. It says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. You see why? Because a lot of women out there are just like this. Verse 12, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. Meaning what? Any, any any guy that come through, she 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 throwing herself at it and, and drinking of his water, and we already know what that means. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. The arrows uh, uh, quiver is what holds the arrow, man. This is all analogies talking about what man. She gonna take every pipe. She gonna take every penis. You see, she gonna swallow every rod. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband and her discretion will fatten his bones. And that wife knows how to please her husband through what? Through learning uh, from her father that that that, that was uh, trained in the way that she should go. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed because she was instructed while she was in her father's house. And when she was given into a man of understanding, she know how to please that man. This is our heritage and, and how we should conduct ourselves, both men and women. You see? From there, let's go to Sirach 7 and 24. It says, has thou daughters? Matter of fact, verse 23, has thou children? Instruct them, <laughs> you see, and bow down their neck from their youth, meaning hey, let them be obedient, man. It says that a, a horse that is uh, not broken become headstrong, just like the children. You let your children run rampant and do whatever the hell they want. How you going to try to uh, uh, discipline them or control them when they get older, man? Verse 24, has thou daughters have a care of their body? And, 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 and that's what that's what T.I. is doing. And show not thyself cheerful toward them. Marry thy daughter. And so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter, but give her to a man of understanding. You see? And this is and, 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 and this is how we ought to conduct ourselves, man. But this world is against this, man. This makes uh, these 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 words of Yahweh Basham Yahusham makes everything so much easier and run so much smoother, man. But yet this world is against that. Why? Because they're they're all into their lust and their desires and their wickedness, man. You got all kind of women mad than a hoe. Oh, he doing that to her, but bitch, just because nobody did it to you? Just because you you didn't had a thousand rods by the time you was fucking 21. It's fucking madness, man. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 42, and verse 9. It says, the father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth, and the care for her taketh away sleep. 
when she is young. So this goes back to Sirach the seventh chapter. It says, marry her and you have done a weighty matter. You do it what? When she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age, right? And being married, lest she should be hated. So now when she do get a man, she she didn't had all many kind of rods. Now she don't know how to uh, act and, 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 and deal with her husband. She loud, talking back, rebellious, right? That's going to have her be hated, man. As we read, it says uh, 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 it's a dishonor to the husband and the father, man, and they both shall hate her. That's what we read earlier, right? In her virginity, lest she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house, man. See, in the ancient world, that was a shame for a woman to still be in her father's house with a baby. And having a husband, lest she should misbehave herself, right? Drinking of every uh, uh, water that she sit by and opening her quiver to every arrow. You see? And when she is married, lest she should be barren. It says, keep a sure watch over a, slain, a shameless daughter, lest she make thee a laughing stock to thy enemies, in a byword in the city, and a reproach among the people, and make thee a shame before the multitude, man. See, that's a shame to a father to know his his daughter out there hoeing, man. It says, it says she lest she make thee a laughing stock to thy enemies. Esau Edom is laughing at us at the state and the condition that our women are in, man. A byword in the city and a reproach among the people. Come on, man. And not only our women, but our men too. Our nation as a whole, man, is a goddamn laughing stock unto, uh, unto our enemies. That's why, that's why this is written. Sirach the 23rd chapter. This is a uh, Sirach 23, and I'm gonna just get straight to the point. Verse, uh, let me let me start at two. It says, Who will set scourges over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my heart? Right? Meaning what? This word meeting us in every thought, man. These laws, statutes, and commandments, this, this, this book as a guidance over our life. That they spare me not for my ignorances, and it pass not by my sins, lest my ignorances increase. And my sins abound to my destruction. And that's what happened to our people. They're turning their ear away from hearing the law. They don't want to hear uh, the things of how we should conduct ourselves and how we should be. Right? So their sins are abounding to their destruction, right? And fall before my adversaries and my enemy rejoice over me whose hope is far from thy mercy. So these heathens are rejoicing that we're in this state, man. It's a goddamn shame. You see? It's a goddamn shame, man. From there, we're going to end it on this. This is Deuteronomy 23 and 17. It says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Now, when you read that as face value, there should be uh, uh, no women that's out there whoring, and there shall be no sodomite, which is uh, no homosexuals in the nation of Israel. You see? And that's true to, uh, to the law. There should be neither a whore or a homosexual in the nation of Israel. Man, that's against the law. But this scripture is literally going into female temple prostitute. And the sodomite is a male temple prostitute. You see? So in the ancient world, you would go and, and worship these idol, these goddamn idols, and they would have a, a, a fucking brothels and things that you can have sex with certain temple prostitutes in order to worship that idol for example beyonce is a temple prostitute rihanna is a temple prostitute man because they go into these 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 meetings and and, and and the men are too they go into these meetings and they let these 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 edomites and these 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 executives have their way with them man so that's the true meaning of this scripture, but I'm bringing it out to uh, 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 still because it still holds weight as there shall not be a whore or, or, or a sodomite in the nation of Israel. Because in the ancient world, this is, an, this is an example of keeping your daughter in straightly. This is 2 Maccabees 3. And let me start at 16. Um. Let's start at 13. It says, but Heliodorus, because of the king's commandment given him, said that in any wise, it must be brought into the king's treasury. So now when you go into the uh, this account, uh, Heliodorus, which was, which was, was uh, a goddamn Greek, he was coming to take the, the treasures that was found inside our temple. 
and and it was told him that no that 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 belongs to the uh uh, uh to the widows to the fatherless you know we keeping that up you know that belongs to the lord and he said uh, in any wise and he got to take it right so verse 14 so at that so at the day which he appointed he entered in to order this matter wherefore there was no small agony throughout the whole city man we were all uh uh going through it man like man this devil finna go and rob the temple man you know it says but the priests prostrating themselves before the altar in their priest vestments call unto heaven upon him that made a law concerning things given to be kept that they should safely be preserved for such as had committed them to be kept right so they pray unto the lord to uh to, to protect the uh temple then whoso had looked the high priest in the face it would have wounded his heart for his countenance and the changing of his color uh declared the inward agony of his mind for the man was so compassed with fear and horror of the body that it was manifest to them that looked upon him what sorrow he had now in his heart Others ran flocking out of their houses to the general supplication because the place was like to come into contempt. And this is the point. And women girt with sackcloth under their breasts abounded in the streets. And the virgins that were kept in ran some to the gates, some to the walls, and others looked out of the windows. You see? So we had order and a structure that was set up within us, man. And these people hate order, you know, and that's why uh, judgment is going to come down unto all these people, man. So, Lord willing, I pray that was edifying. You know, it just just, just shows how 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 anti Messiah, how against the anointed that this world is, man. And it's only going to get worse. It's going to get even more uh, or outwardly corrupt. But with that being said, the water Yahweh Basham Yahweh for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Call Halayim La, which means all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Baracha Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.